we have four channels live. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Check, 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 check. check, 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 check All check. right, guys. As always, my name is Kevin. My name is Alex. And I'm Adekoye. And I'm Justin with no underscore. And welcome to Bottles What's up? up. What's up, everybody? How we doing? Yeah. The How's up? the grass growing on your side? The grass is always greener on my side. Likewise, Everybody's side, not just my side. Likewise with the seaweed. I oh. like seaweed, though. Like seaweed chips from Costco? Those do are you, bomb. Do you like the... Damn, we're already going on a tangent. Yeah. Um, first of all, sine, cosine, tangent. First of all, my name is Alex Crona. You can find me at L3X with three underscores. And, um, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're going next? Just go for it. All right. My name is Justin. You can find me at Justin Pot. Three S's, no underscore. Bitch ass, no underscore. Bitch ass, no underscore. Uh, bitch ass. My name is Adekoye. You can find me at A D E K O Y E underscore O L A. D A P O. Oh, I'm back from my bathroom break. And <laughs> it's your boy, Big Kev. You could find me at Kevin <laughs> underscore a <Abascal. laughs> Alex is ready to turn that down. Yeah, soon. <laughs> I, I saw it come in. So your tangent. What, what were you saying about? Oh what? no! So like with seaweed, do you, do you guys have? Um, do you like soft seaweed yes. more, or do you like the like the snack seaweed where it's like crunchy? Soft. You like soft? I like the crunchy one because it's a little salty. What's the difference between so soft and crunchy? The crunchy is little, literally some squares and or rectangles that you can just eat like chips. Just shove them down. And then seaweed guys help me out on this one has koye had poke before i have yeah okay so yeah, poke yeah. and I, when you I get fix the, the white noise problem when so you all heard the white noise in the beginning it's gone yeah bye bye mother trucker damn that smells dude that's disgusting finally I not me there, so but koye when you get poke you know the green thing that looks like noodles yeah for, for that's talking. soft seaweed oh okay okay yeah let me see so the chips for, where you like yeah so for me, I like the green, soft, noodle-looking type yeah. that you get in poke. See, I'm used to like the crunchy type because that's what they used to have like all the time, like when I was like in elementary school, and like I had to like, I pretty much like had to like a uh, like kind of like scheme some off of, like the other kids that that had them. So with that business that you had, bro, the sandwiches, <laughs> young hustler, haul at your boy. Hey, dude, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Gotta make ends meet. Alex, even as a kid. Crunchy, soft. I like the crunchy one. Crunchy. Like the like the chips they they give they serve at Costco or you buy from Costco. Those Team are crunchy. good though. Yeah. I'm hungry now. I actually I'm kind of I'm getting kind of hungry. But before we go out and eat <laughs> today's podcast, it's gonna be random. We don't know what we're gonna talk random. about. Random. We're definitely gonna hear that story that Kevin talked about at for the fair. Okay. I kind of want to hear what happened. Where it's gonna get real colorful if you would so all right well, let's hear it real we got time the floor so, is yours i yield if you watched our video we talked about previous jobs that we've worked in the past and i mentioned that i worked at the oc fair at a stand called mexican funnel cake they use churro, churro. batter instead of regular funnel cake batter i hope they don't i hope they don't use churro batter <laughs> that shit would be bad <laughs> Yeah, Justin. Do you know what you know what it is, right? Yeah, he said diarrhea in the video. Were you not no. paying attention? Diarrhea, diarrhea. Clap, clap. I don't know, <laughs> but um, so the it was really good. But some dude came up to me while I was working the cash register and just goes, "Hey, man. So why do they call it Mexican funnel cake? Oh, here we got go. a bunch of Mexicans making them in the back." <laughs> <There> <laughs> And I dead ass looked him in the face. No, what do you want? Because I was livid. So pissed. It's just a racist dude. You should have done the uh, that. Not, oh, what's that dude's face with the? 
kind of like face back to him. <laughs> that, that, that woman, yeah. <laughs> the what? You know what we might I know what you're referencing now. It took me a second. I was just laughing, but yeah, I should have. I should have just slapped him in the face too, but. You yes. needed that job at the time. It did. It paid for a lot of merchandise. <laughs> yeah. What about your Cutco job? That one was fun. You know, pyramid scheme. What is so, it? Cutco, the scissors that could cut through a penny, super good knives. They're actually really... Wait, you can cut through a penny? Absolutely. That was oh, wow. part of my... My, can we get a demonstration uh next you time you guys them? come over yeah the scissors are in my room i don't cut pennies in my room because apparently that's illegal too to destroy money yeah so. you're defacing pro- uh, federal property exactly so god damn it justin sorry, can you get your shit together please fucking <laughs> let them rip can on you there. cut co it out my god spot on spot on yeah, domination. <laughs> so since we're speaking about knives, segue, going to throw a complete 180 and talk okay. about meds. And this is something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. Meds? Meds. Wait. Like like pharma, like big okay, pharma. Okay, pharmaceuticals. Oh, okay. Yes. Have you guys ever noticed, and I'm going to try to pull something up, yes. where you, um, you're watching you a commercial on TV, things. and you see like, oh, get this brand new pill. It'll help. <laughs> if I could just it. It'll help with um, your headache. Ow. But in return... <laughs> <laughs> but in return, it might give you diarrhea, a runny nose, and like a million other things. Like, oh, stage two testicular cancer. Bobby Boucher for a second. Today, Junior. Oh, she is going. Remix. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to make sure you adjust the volumes for sure on this one, Justin. No, but it'll be like. Oh, like oh, side effects even include death in serious situations. Like, why would I take your pill? To get rid of my <laughs> nose leak, if you're gonna move it to a butt leak, <laughs> like. <laughs> but Seriously. to like to to go on top of what you're saying, like, why do why are there medicine commercials? Like, I'm not gonna watch a commercial and be like, and go to my doctor and be like, hey, why didn't you prescribe me this? I saw this on TV. Like, wouldn't the doctor already well, know to? Like, I think give that, me that I think that's the point because most doctors will just, will prescribe you the generic drug right. by default. I think right or like because for some reason whenever I go to the pharmacy, I always get. The generic version and by never by choice that's just what i always end up getting mm-hmm. so i think the, the goal is for for those people to go to the doctor and to say can this pill work for me that's why a lot of them say ask your doctor if you before can take taking, xyz medicine before taking lunesta that oh Which let me look up lunesta? lunesta right now is that lunesta. the one for um it's where you lay your enemies to their eternal resting place Damn. another movie reference Okay, so Lunesta. It's a sleeping pill. Right? Is that a sleeping pill? Yeah. It's used for some type of sleeping. Okay, so let me give you some. some it's a, Yeah, you're right. It's a sedative. A hypnotic used to treat insomnia. So you will get rid of your insomnia if you take Lunesta. But side effects include but? daytime dr- drowsiness. Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take some Lunesta. Actually, actually, dizziness, hangover feeling is one of those. Oh, shit. So oh. you, you get the hangover without dr- the drinking. Problems with the memory or concentration. Oh, anxiety. Oh, thank you. Depression, nervous feeling, headache, nausea, stomach pain, loss of appetite, constipation, dry mouth, damn, unusual that's... taste in your mouth, and a mild skin rash. That's so you terrible. you can sleep, but because you're sleeping, you're gonna get anxiety now. You're gonna be depressed. You're gonna have a headache. You're gonna you're, shit your pants. You're gonna you're not you're <laughs> gonna shit your pants. You're not gonna be able to think properly, but you can at least fall asleep. So after you take that, then you have to throw in like some Adderall. To and then that combined is gonna. <laughs> and then you gotta take something for your depression. And then you're going to take something for your headache. And then Pepto-Bismol for your diarrhea. I was going to say that, Pepto. And then everything combined is going to mess up your liver. Then you have to take something for your liver. It's a never-ending cycle. Exactly, dude. It's so a vicious, vicious cycle. What exactly was the benefit of that again? You were you, to you get fall asleep. asleep. Wait, do, you, do you see yourself... Or do you see yourself staying up late? Just lying on your bed? I do sometimes until 2 a.m. And I watch how, how some things are made videos. Exactly. So this will help eradicate you from doing that. But like, I, I still understand. Like, shouldn't? Yeah, you said that like doctors will prescribe you the generic, but like they know that these medicines are out there, right? Because but they probably know that they're terrible for you too. Yeah. So like, it's being on. Uh, it's on TV getting um, advertisements on there. So there's a reason why. Like your your own. What I'm saying is like 
is someone sitting at home saying watching this commercial then going to the doctor like hey i want to take this because like the doctor should already know what's prescribed them already right true true but a lot of these drugs sometimes just get approved by the fda or because they'll um, pass certain bylaws and then if they can make money off it they don't care who's buying it true like it's how those things um like that scandal that's going on about how like the doctors or there's like a one of the big pharma um ceos got indicted because he was getting doctors to prescribe the drug when they didn't need it like for the opioids and stuff so here's another one that i that i pulled up right chantex and i've seen this one on tv mm. this one's what yeah. i remembered um here's some of the possible side effects so first what does this drug do um get the facts that's what it says it's making me scroll down directly to the bottom everybody knows um <laughs> chantex. so let's see what it happens leaves chafing huh, i see what Sorry. you did there um so some possible side effects of this oh can you um, say can you say it in the commercial voice possible side effects may be <laughs> possible side effects may include seizures <laughs> new or worse heart or blood vessels problems <laughs> get emergency help right away if you or any of the following symptoms have or sorry get a get emergency medical help right away if you have any of the following of a heart attack including oh. chest discomfort pain discomfort shortness of breath sweating nausea vomiting feeling lightheaded associated with chest discomfort sleepwalking allergic or serious reactions stop taking chantex and get medical help right away if you have trouble breathing a rash with pe- peeling skin uh, or a blister in your mouth chafing yeah but some of the most common side effects include nausea sleep problems so then you take what was the other pill the medicine you said lunesta so then you take lunesta to help you with the problems of sleeping constipation gas and vomiting and that's where Pepto. Pepto. Yep. Yep. Pepto. Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach. Chorro. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this what is this drug even cure? Nothing. But I do want to say with. that was a very good I sounded I felt like I was watching the commercial listening I like to I was you. In the commercial. Oh, thank you. This, this, so this drug helps you quit smoking. So you can quit Chantex? smoking. Chantex? Yeah, that's what it says. Oh yeah, I think it is. It, it tricks your nic- nicotine receptors, so you can quit smoking. But in return, you're gonna have some gnarly gas. You're gonna be throwing up. You're gonna be vomiting and chest pain. And all you might the same time. you might possibly have a heart attack. But at least you quit smoking to save your life. That sounds like a fair trade. <sighs> I mean, you'll end up. I don't know. You may have lung cancer. You but... might as well. I don't know. What would like if you were in that situation? Like you want to stop smoking and nothing's working. They Just say, stop. Hey, hey, this medicine will help you. Get the it's gum. kind. Of, it's kind of hard. Like we, we we don't smoke, so it's like. But if you put yourself in that in those shoes, and like say you're someone who is trying to quit smoking, and you're watching TV, and you're, and this commercial is like, hey, this will help you stop smoking. Would you take it? It depends on the person, I think. Yeah. So my, I mean, my dad quit smoking cold turkey when I was younger, and just he was just like, I'm done. So like, I think it's possible. Like when you were born, or uh, I was like in my like about to be in the teens. Oh, okay. It just depends on the willpower of the person. Right. That's what I was about to say. I feel like it. It's like a case by case basis. It just depends on like who who's doing it. So would you guys take these medicines to cure one thing, risking getting like at least five to seven more things? Heck no. Nah. Nope. Okay. Well, I'm I'm glad we got that settled because that, <laughs> that was. <laughs> I'll take f- no for five hundred because that's been bugging the, the crap out of me to be honest good topic though uh, yeah is, is there anything that you guys have been wanting to talk about recently <laughs> oh, i don't know <laughs> all of this know. can be edited out like thankfully. This, this is like the way this podcast is going it's like how we started off the this episode and this, this past episode we, we had no clue what we we're gonna talk about i do like the random talk though but i feel like this is when we need a beer this, I mean, we can go get beers. We I'm, have, I'm, I mean, I'm good. I'm just saying this is like the time where I'm like, oh, got me all excited. We'll, we'll get like we could get a like a pack of something like an eight oh five, like a chill one. But you know what I mean? It's like we're having this kind of deep talk. We're not. Oh, let's talk about sports and Avengers and what do you call it? Well, speaking of beer, since we did try the double bastard today, at first we thought it was a little bit. We all said something different. Caramel, said- malty barely yeah. loggery well loggery. i was gonna say at first we had to call somebody to see if it was okay to drink because they had was big like some, dan dude, it there was some dan the man there. shout out to dan yeah yeah they, we, it literally looked like that beer was 
done so. Yeah. Like we were gonna get diarrhea and we were, we were about to take some Pepto. That's all right. Like, but then like when we, oh shit, um, or when I took that little sip, it tasted fine to me, which is weird. And then, yeah, like all Agreed. those little flakes that were inside there, I maybe like once we drink it, it like dissolved in our mouth. Yeah, but it's too small for us to notice yeah. or, but like, within I, our mouth, I don't even know why. I think we were just or we were sitting there and I was like, wait. You guys are like, what? I'm like, and then, is yeah. there something in my drink? And then all of you yeah. guys. Well, it looked chunky. I had never seen beer like that before. That's yeah, why I was like, exactly. what the heck it is this? sticky. Yeah. We, we know what we're expecting to see in a clear glass. And then we didn't see what we wanted to see. So right. Yeah. It was my challenge all over again. We should have just given it all to Koye. Have him try it first. I mean, bubble, there's, guts. There's bubble, 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 bubble guts. Bubble guts. <laughs> bubble guts. There's still some over there. Some All right, well, you guys take over. I'm actually going to go get it just for a... Uh, oh, we should read sorry, that for, like, for essay on the back of the bottle. Oh, wait, that one's the 2014 one. Oh. Let me put that back in the fridge. I think it's in the... Fr- I'm talking into the mic like he still has his things on. Like you can still hear me. It's in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> um, but how was your day today? Oh, we're going that route. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like for real, um, I so no, well when this episode comes out, my vacation ended already. But while we're recording, doesn't it, it come out next week? Yeah, on Friday. And then oh, you work to, Saturday. I work Saturday. Oh, so I'm off from what's today? We're recording this on the 15th. I go back on the 25th. Yeah, dude. After EDC, EDC, my first time, dude. I posted that thing on my Instagram. You're like, you know the the countdown, mm-hmm. and, and I put like vacation, Vegas, EDC, and I have like five different people re- uh, message me like oh you're going to edc like message me let's meet up i'm like oh yeah sure it's like people i haven't like <laughs> spoken to enzo was one enzo what's up yeah. um if you're enzo, watching I, I don't even know if he i um, highly doubt it but if you are what up bro <laughs> um he was like hey let's meet up and i'm like yeah sure um he asked me if it was my first time and, and or he was trying to tell me he's like oh you got to get there early i'm like i mean i'm going with my roommate he's been there like six or seven times <laughs> I've been there twice. I was going to say, I don't remember <laughs> six or seven times. Shoot. I'm like, he's a pro, so. We still got to convince Koya to go to a music festival. I was about to say, fun fact, your boys never been to a music festival. Why Dude, the hell not? I'm cancels, telling or No, I mean, it kind of does, but I, I want him like, I want a full, like, huge music festival. And so I got him to say he would go to Nocturnal, but then we never went or, or uh, oh, escaped. Yeah, so I we got to go to, like, Nocturnal this year at the end of the year. And so here's was my thing, guys. Like, I feel like I'm overall I'm a pretty patient, laid back type of dude. But when it comes to like music festivals and it's being in like huge crowds, people are bumping into you, like gets all hot and musky and whatnot. It's just not my thing. Because well, we talked about this already. But that's a common misconception. Yep, agreed. Ke- Kevin's been to Coachella and it's hot in general. But you could, depending on where you're at will depend on like your surrounding for the environment. It is what you make it, honestly. You could go to, Alex can attest for this, the Heineken tent, which is literally all AC, dude. It feels phenomenal in there. And people are just dancing. There's hot chicks everywhere. So they actually changed it up this year, so it's outdoors, but they had misters going. The time that we went. Yeah. Well, even this year, it was bigger, but then they had misters, so it was still a lot cooler. Oh, yeah, misters are good. Yeah. So if you were to, especially, and here's another thing, too. If you have someone that you want to see, definitely that changes your perspective because you're like, oh, I can't wait. You know, let me try out other music real quick. And then you can find shade. It's bro. Kobe's been to Nocturnal. Just throwing it out there. Yeah. Kobe, you go pay with you. (laughs) See, like I'm like you too, Koye, though, because you like you too. I do. Hello. (laughs) Hello. Hola. Como esta? Oh, wait, no. Donde esta? Donde esta? Um, but I'm like you. So before I even met Alex, I I was all I was into was hip hop, R and B, and like pop punk and all that that music I listened to back in high school. And I don't know if I have I told the story about my birthday on the podcast. You're about to every time, dude. Every time. But I love it. It's funny because it's funny how it started like that. And now where I'm at now for my birthday, I asked Alex. Um, if he could DJ my birthday, and I found out oh, he yeah. doesn't, he doesn't like DJing birthdays, but he still DJ my birthday. Before I knew that, and I, I, was, I felt honored that he did it. But 
I told him in a text, I was like, hey, like, I don't like EDM music and you uh, don't play that. And like, he played some of it. I was out by like 11 o'clock. But... Yeah, it was out. Like, <laughs> <I don't> like... <laughs> but like 11 a.m. Yeah. Fast... Well, just fast forward, just or fast real forward. quick, pop, pop a pot. I got my bottle of Jambo back. What up? <laughs> oh, beer, 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 beer. oh, yeah. Because your dad yeah. had all the alcohol back, and I was like, I paid money for that <laughs> alcohol. I want my bottle back. I forgot what I did, but I remember sneaking into the house, mm-hmm. and that I like, I reached for the alcohol, and they saw me, and I was like, was like okay, Jones, thank you, bye. <laughs> yeah. Um, Raiders yeah. of the Lost Dude, I, I was out that night I don't think you were there huh no I was not um, I heard the stories though. it was the Kraken put me out dude someone released you Kraken that, is disgusting dude released the Kraken you did like two or three shots in a row or something I did no I did the Inception shot I where it I, was like it again was like, I think you're mixing up two parties because I don't think that was the same no, yeah. I swear I think that was oh, the party shoot. oh, shoot. oh, oh scared the balls out of me so we're having some technical difficulties. Koi and Mike is y'all. down. You know, it's not a real shooting day if something like this doesn't happen. <laughs> that happened to me last time too. <laughs> Tangled up. Okay, so what were you saying? Sorry, while we get his stuff fixed. Just I honestly moment. think the Inception was the year before when Alex wasn't there, when it was just me and more Disney. And then when he was there, it was just more... Really? Because didn't uh, Jimmy go? That's, yeah, Jimmy that, went. Jimmy went that party too? Yeah, Jimmy was at the party. I don't think that was the night with the shop though. Cause, uh, it, so I just remember from that party we were outside. Yeah, it was cold, and you guys had like a little bonfire going. And I was like, was "Oh, like some tank. of these people work at Disney. I remember them." And I'm like, "Oh shit, I don't like that person." But what up? You know, <laughs> fuck you. Oh, you, you knew <laughs> people that you didn't like. Yeah, they, that worked at Disney. I forgot. I forgot uh, who dude, was there. But the dude that made the Power Ranger costumes. Yeah. Who? The old lead, the really creepy one. He wasn't there. Oh. Because I don't like him. Okay, continue oh, with the story. Like <laughs> um, continue with your drunk story, and then we're gonna hear Kevin's and then mine's and then Koi's. My drunk story? Yeah. Did well, we talk about this? I feel story? like. Did we? Or just no, we. So the very first episode of this, we talked about our drunk stories. Yeah. But it never made it out because we had uh, oh, technical right. difficulties. Technical difficulties. As we're having right now. <laughs> you could go ahead. So Loosen it up a little bit more, Koi. Yeah. Take it. Take your take your headphones off too, just because I feel like you're gonna pull yourself. Your <laughs> Those are nice headphones. Um, they are. They're Sony too. We just bought them. Um, but so I don't know who introduced me to Kraken, and at that time I was like, "Oh yeah, I want Kraken everything. Like that's all I oh. want to drink." And Dude, Kraken is disgusting. I've had it once, never again. It's, I haven't had it I think, since. I, I think Eric because... got it. To be honest, or I, I had a bottle of Kraken in my house for some oh. reason. Right now? No, not right now. I wouldn't. I would not own that. It was Johnny. Johnny did it. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny um, boy. But so, I see, you're saying I'm mixing up the parties, but I know the party where I took the Inception shot, I got, well, obviously, I get messed up every single time we go out, which I, I need to work on that myself. <laughs> um, but, um, what should we call it? I know. Honestly, that- you could have, you probably could have done it at both, but I, I don't think it was... The one with Alex. Yeah, because. But re- you you remember the Inception shot though, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, because yeah. I was I I feel like I wanted to try it, or I may even done it too, because I was like that looks like fun. But then I'm like, no, because you got messed up like super quick right <laughs> I think after. That was like one of the first drinks I drank that night too, because it was like, um, Jamie, my friend Jamie, you remember Jamie, right? Jamie Nix. Yeah. Love Jamie Nix. Um, Love your dog too. Uh, yep. Sailor. Sailor. I was going to say pirate. <laughs> Has to do with Close. water. Um, but Such it, it was like we, we needed to find different sizes glasses. So I was like, I have this. It was a, a vase. You remember? It was yeah. a flower vase. And then she put uh, two cups, um, two regular size cups that fit into the vase, and then two shots at the top. So basically, those of you who don't know what the inception shot is, you pull the shot glass, take the shot, and that other shot glass falls into the cup. And then you chug, you right? Chug, you chug that next cup, and that other cup falls into the vase, and then you drink everything all at once. And I don't even know what concoction she put in there, but it messed me up. Where, Can uh, it be anything you want, or is it specific? Well, I mean, no, I don't think it has to be something specific. Like It, it just has to, I don't know, it's your preference. Like, oh, I thought it was like already a thing like you can do in a bar or something. I'm sure you can if you asked for it. You know what I mean, though, because like, oh, like, like, like certain flavors. And yeah. AMF has 
ingredients A, B, C, and D. Yeah. Is Inception all the same, or is it just the name of the shot because you take it and then it feels like you're walking on a wall like in Inception? Uh, I don't know. We should the next time we go out to a bar, we should see if a bartender will know what it is. Dear Lord. Okay. Also, those those videos of people who uh, they go to the like they take five shots and um, the the bartender like shakes it. You wear a helmet. Have you seen it? Those videos you wear where a helmet? you wear like an army, like an old school army helmet. And Is that the they, one where they shoot I've you seen, with the gun? I've seen those Mexican ones, and I feel like that's just like a prop. Or like in Mexico, they like lift you up, they'll toss your head around and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. With does the, that, the does that like help you get messed up? Or like, I think that's just I think that's just for white people, to be honest. <laughs> Isn't no, but there was one. So it was, it was in uh, I think it was in Russia. Something like this would happen in Russia too. Um, literally, it was like this. It was they had four um shots they they give you an army helmet and then they like literally bang your head with it they're like and then you take the shot and then the guy after that next shot um he he got a empty keg and he like smashed the guy's head with the keg and then you take another shot that's intense that sounds terrible and then i think the last one he used like a a fire height or a fire extinguisher and he like a fire height (laughs) dude you would knock him out (laughs) But like, that's homicide bro i guess like well like uh well, out or in mexico i guess like getting yourself dizzy while you're getting drunk or like drinking it helps you get drunk faster dude that so I, I did that with my uncles or and my dad too i think it was like one of his birthday parties i won't say the age what up dad um but we would make 15, them 19 we, we, we put a, a pinata up for them we'd make them take a shot of tequila look down on the bat spin 10 times and then go and like try to hit the pinata actually I'm, we did I'm, that at coachella yeah, that that's right. That's where I got the idea from. I'm gonna give Justin some videos so I can put some up, dude. It's the funniest thing because my they would go and they're like, oh, 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 boom, and like tip over. It's the oh, funniest thing ever. That's funny. I remember so. seeing those videos on social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was funny. Um, Kevin, what's a drunk story for you? Oh boy. Um, I mean, I'm I have a lot, but um. I need to think of a good one. Let's see. Um, I know my drunk story. Remember that time? Go for remember it. that time I went to Heat and I played at Heat. Oh, that's the one time I missed too, dude. So heat, I, the one at Garden Walk. Yeah, where we ended up at the OC block. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some good stuff. So I, I it was my first time playing at Heat as I'm drinking some beer. Hello. That's when you fir- that I first met the uh Manic. No. Or the 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 the, the face Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the, the mask. The um, costume DJs. Yeah, yeah, the ones with like the skull mask. Yeah, it was so creepy. Scary. I remember it was like my first time playing at Mansion. Koya made me a filter for when I played for that time. Yeah, so, that's right. At Heat. Yeah, so I, I got um we were like pregame with some Jameson and then when I got inside I was like, Oh, I'll take a couple of Jameson and ginger ales <laughs> and then as I was playing, like I remember I recorded my set and I was like, Yo, this is like the best shit ever. Like, damn, like I'm really rocking this bitch. And like, cause people were like enjoying it, you know, but everyone was at the same level as me as far as being drunk. And then next thing you know, like I wake up or like I didn't wake up, I come to and we're at I would assume which was the bar next door of McFadden's. Mm-hmm. And the reason that I remember it's because I have a bill for McFadden's saying oh, that we were there. <laughs> and I kind of vaguely pr- pr- remember playing cornhole. And then um, yep. I've, I would, next time I came back to Kevin and I were at the block. I think, were you there? I was there. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Koya was there. Was we like were at the Krispy Kreme. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, yo, how did we get from Garden Grove to the OC block right now? Like, like what the hell? And then when and then I just remembered passing out again and like all of a sudden I'm like, I need to throw up. And I opened the car door, I threw up, got some water, and then when I came back to again, I wasn't I was on Kevin's couch. <laughs> and then he crawled into bed with me. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, dude, what happened? And I'm like, bro, honestly, I think it was a Jameson. Oh. I kid you not, like he can attest to this. Not like yes. two seconds after I said that, I was like, you No, know, I said <laughs> and I had to go throw up. I remember, you're right. I said it's because we had Jay. I'm not, I didn't even finish the name. I just said Jay, and then he said, oh, and <laughs> ran to my bathroom. Do you guys now remember how he, how he got from a... Oh, I remember. I just don't know if we're supposed I, to say I, it. I, I, I remember now. I just yeah. don't want to say it just because... Got you. You, got, you, got you. But yeah. I, I was filled in eventually. Like, oh, 
you ask someone for a ride. <laughs> I specifically remember, I don't know, I highly doubt Taylor would listen to this, but I remember <laughs> sh- who shall not be. I just remember Taylor um coming up to me. She's like, Are you okay? And somewhere up on the line. Beard? Yeah. Cause she I, was I there? Yeah, she was. Cause the next oh, day I texted yeah. her, I was like, yo, like, what happened? And she kind she's the one who kind of filled me in. And then she's like, Yeah, and then you asked me to like um to pretend you'd be your girlfriend for the night because of some girl, so I did. And like oh, and, like I was like right. Yeah, and I was like oh my god i'm so sorry she's like no you good like i enjoyed it and i was like all right she probably got some free that's probably where my bill came from she probably got some free drinks out of it. <laughs> so what up t barry yeah dude you remember when we went to vegas when you had uh when you had your gig at a towel when I, yeah when i put a towel and then the night before we we're at the the irish bar oh my god yes and then, um McDonald's? no no in vegas at uh, O'Shea's. O'Shea's. O- O'Shea Hennessy's. Jinx. <laughs> um, playing then, BB? Yeah, we were playing BB. Well, I showed up later after you guys were like like deep drinking already. Wait, yeah, I'm we so got sorry. there late. I lost. Yeah, we got there late. I'm lost. Which big strip was this? When, well, when played I played at Tao, at Tao. With, with Matt. Got it. Okay. This, the last time we all went. Where we, went where we rented out the yes. Airbnb and then we went to the yes. Spanish Flip bar afterwards. Yeah, so Alex... Alex uh, asked one of the like the remember we have a group of girls with us and he asked like for help because someone else is trying someone <laughs> oh, else trying oh yes my. yep 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 I remember they, they're like oh they were like oh no it's fine it's fine no but then like if it no, the roles were flipped they would have been like help okay help, I specifically remember and I, I I'm gonna call out Danielle on this because I remember coming up to Danielle oh. I was like Danielle. So and so's trying to get at me. Like, I need your help because the last thing I want to do is hook up. And she's getting me drunk on purpose. And she's like, "Oh my god, no! Like, it's fine. Just like stop. Like, you're reacting." And I'm like, "Danielle, like, I need help." And then I remember going to Cassie too, and Cassie was just like, "No." And I'm like, "God damn it! Why will no one help me?" And it wasn't until Joanna's friend Amanda came up, and she's like, "Who is it, girl? Don't you be touching my man?" Hey, to, like, was like making me like, she, but she was like, "Yo, to man, man. Yeah, yeah. you're the real MVP." But then she was like, "Yo, you, you gotta hold my purse though," and I was like, "All right, I'll do it." <laughs> like, that's like that's fine. So but yeah, so oh, like man. I was like. I don't know, cause I remember Alex telling me like, "Oh, so and so is trying to hook up with me." I'm like, "There's nothing I can do at this time." Dude, I remember I tried to push her onto Christian on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but then I mean, up, Christian, <laughs> yeah. But then Christian pushed her back on me. But then eventually I was like, we, I was able to be like, no, go, go to my cousin. Yeah, it's like but ping pong going yeah. back and forth <laughs> with the Coronas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So have you have you guys figured out you guys are drunk story? Cause we technically did a double whammy for me. I yeah. too many. Which one was the funniest to you guys? I think the last one when we went to Huntington and like you guys let or not you guys didn't let me, but I laid down in the fucking elevator. Oh my god, that Dude, was hilarious. That when you crawled out like Spider Man. Crawled out and, and then, then you I turned did, the like, corner or I was but like so I finally You're saw butt the, naked? <laughs> I hope not. I finally saw the full video because Christian has the entire video of me like like we're all talking and I'm like on my back in the elevator. <laughs> And then, um, and that elevator always smells like pee. That's why way. I was so yeah. pissed at myself. Um, and then he showed how, like, <laughs> I literally was bear crawling, like, or oh like Spider Man crawl right. out of there. And then, like, I took off running. And then, before you guys even came out of the elevator to, like, see where I ran to, like, I was gone. And then I was listening to the videos, and you can't even hear my footsteps of, like, where I was running to. And then I asked you guys like how I came back, and you guys were like, "I don't know, you just came back." Yeah, you literally just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> but was I there that time? Uh, no, uh, that no, was the he time. Koi, we started at bungalow, and we no. both had eight AMFs. That was the first drink. You had time. eight AMFs. No, we started with AMFs. Oh my oh, god! Oh yeah, yeah, you, you were. You ended up coming because yeah. I think the Lakers were playing, and you were seeing yeah, the game at the bungalow. Oh yeah, you're yeah, watching the game on. We your started at bungalow, and then we went to Sharky's. Bungalow. Yeah, okay, I remember that. That yeah. was the last thing I remember. Uh, actually, You met us there afterwards, too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the last thing that night that I remember is, like, we, we got Oh, that was Sharkies. 4th of July. No, no it was a different no? situation. No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That night. This was, like, a couple months ago. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, this was in fall. It was in March. Spring. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Um, but the last thing I remember is, like, we got to Sharky's. I saw my fr- like, friends from Disney. Rudy was there. That's right. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rudy okay, and um, uh, Vanessa. Vanessa. Yeah. Um, and we were just chilling. And then I just remember, I, I was like, oh, I'll buy you guys a drink. And then it was probably a Red Bull Vodka or something. And then <laughs> the last thing I remember 
was you bought tequila shots for everyone and i looked at you and i was like i want one and you're like no that's the one koye couldn't put down yeah. yes and then i remember oh man did i go buy it myself probably because I, I know i i got one and i took that last shot and at the same time koye took the shot and he was like holding it in his mouth so i i, I took the shot and koye was just holding this tequila shot in his mouth and then the literally last thing i remember is him spitting it out blackout i don't after that moment, I have no clue what the hell happened. Hey, but you white and black out though. <laughs> <laughs> but like, how how much longer from that moment until we got to that elevator scene? Probably like thirty minutes. Maybe? Uh, yeah, because all we did was we went to Second Avenue or the second floor. It went, so it wasn't it wasn't that much. I'm surprised you like I was even they even let me into another bar. I felt like the way at least in my I'm, head of how drunk I was, like. In all honesty, I think one of us was holding you up. That's why we got you. Still, like, well, yeah, you actually, up, then... it wasn't. It wasn't until we got into that last ball. That's when you started to kind of fall apart, like come yeah, down from it. Yeah. yeah. All right, Kevin, what's yours? Oh, when so, you walked to Target. No, uh, we already <laughs> talked about that one. But this one actually has to do with Johnny Boy, because we went to PB down in San Diego, and it's a which we all have to do, honestly. This is the plan. So it's a big strip. Think of PCA or think of the um, like hunting or yeah, like the Huntington or Newport Boardwalk, but it's filled all with bars. So we started at one bar and it's all happy hour time. So we took a shot, walked over, took a shot. Maximum time at each bar, like five minutes. So shot, shot, shot. Seven deep, we're like pretty fucked up. And then we grab a. I think it was a lime this time. We grabbed a lime. Oh, the scooters. The scooters. And scooted. And he's like, dude, we can't be doing this. We're like, oh, shit. Yeah. So we park it really quick. And then this dude comes from the sand. Hammered. Backpack on. Just like. <laughs> holding a fresh, unopened bottle of Patron. Uh, gold. Uh, and then my drunk ass hey what's up dude yo I said, like what's up i said you gonna finish that or what <laughs> i'm not kidding dude i think i probably busted out an accent really quick because i could tell he was hispanic so i'm like i look hispanic so let me you know try to get on his good side and maybe he could share some patron with me <laughs> what's up man let's bust it open okay hands us over some random dude opens the bottle I mean, it had all the plastic, so I felt comfortable taking a random dude's bottle of Patron. Went to take a swig. John took a swig. Kept going. It was just weird that we met the guy because, honestly, I don't know where he came from. He didn't look like he was coming from a group of people. It was the Patron God saying it's destiny for you to drink out of this bottle. Honestly, <laughs> probably, and much <laughs> think thank to the patron gods and then we went to another bar to take another shot and then that was the end of the night no blackout or anything just fun fun times but just nice. the patron guy is what made me think of it so thank you patron guy if you ever <laughs> listen to this all right Koye. i remember him patron guy. all right Koye, where you at uh, the whole city behind you i'm gonna have to go with my uh i'm gonna have to go with my my I think my 21st birthday. Um, that's when uh, I had family take me out. Oh wait, never mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so like, um, like I had like my, my family take me out. Like uh, they took me like uh, downtown Los Angeles. And before oh. before then, like before I turned 21, like I was actually I was actually like really good. Like didn't didn't drink. Like I like I was I was like the kind of that straight edge kid. Like I'm like nah like. Drugs are for fools. Like I'm too cool for alcohol. Like stuff like that. Dude, you made that lion proud. Yeah, no, that I was I was a boy scout. <laughs> but, but so uh, we start off like at a winery, and like from the get go, oh, a winery, a winery. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's when Koye no. <laughs> from, from from like the get go, like I kept telling myself too, like you know what, Just keep your composure, keep your composure, you're gonna be fine. Uh, I had like I had like a glass of like red wine and like. Cause I've, I've never really drinking alcohol before like that. Like as soon as I finished that first glass, I could like the like, second already feel like I, I literally had to excuse myself like to go use the restroom. And then I, I was, like when I was in the restroom, I told myself like, Koi, come on, like just 
Keep your composure. That's some boozy ass shit. Drinking. Oh, I just turned twenty one, so I'm drinking a nice some red little wine. Some of this <laughs> glass of red wine. <laughs> Did you eat some brie cheese with it? Uh, you I had that was gouda. On the menu. Gorgonzola. Yeah, you, you had gouda. It was gouda. It's gouda gouda. Well, I'm actually a. Uh, Lactose. Oh color, yeah. So no, I did not. He got grapes. He skipped up. <laughs> <laughs> he got grapes. And crackers. <laughs> but so uh like you know, like even though I was at the mine, like I like I felt like I was doing a good job. Like I mean I was kinda of feeling it, but at the same time I was able to like kinda of, like keep my composure. It wasn't until we got like filled into like downtown Los Angeles and like, we hit like this uh this lounge. I don't, I don't even remember the name of it. But uh I met uh, one of my family members, roommates at the time, and she was like, "Oh, so you're Koye? I've heard so much about you." Huh? Here. Wait, your family member said that? No, my family member's roommate. Oh, yeah. oh okay. <laughs> I was like, "What?" No, yeah, my my family member's roommate. So like, she was like, "Oh, like you're you're Koye? I've heard so much about you. Here, take this shot." I don't even know who this person is. Like, this is like my first time meeting them, and I'm like, uh. I don't think that's a good idea. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm still innocent. I'm still straight edge. She was like, "Koi, I'm your elder. Take this shot." Oh, they pulled that card on you. Yeah, they pulled like, that card, dude. That's, I was that's like, rough. "Dang!" Like, I mean, she does kind of have a valid point. She is my elder. What a good, what a good Christian boy. So I, I took the <laughs> shot, and then like literally, like before I could even finish it, like, like literally, as I was finishing it, she was with another one. Here, take this one, and I'm like. Yo, like I don't, I don't think this is a good yeah. idea. Do you do you remember what alcohol it was by chance? Uh, Jaeger bombs. Oh, uh, it was. Uh, I think. Wait, just Jaeger the shot, or did he said like, Jaeger bombs? Jaeger so bombs. you dropped like it you in the Red it? Bull, and then yeah. you chugged. I didn't even I didn't even know what it was at the time. Like that's disgusting. I, like I, I didn't even know what I was drinking. Like I didn't even know what, what a Jaeger bomb was at that time. My dude, you started with red wine and then went straight to a Jaeger bomb. Like I said, you I like, am proud. You went from classy to trashy to real quick. Yeah. You probably end up a little bit nasty afterwards too. But you coming see, down, coming little, down. But you see, that's uh, that's uh, like the story. Like it, like it. It doesn't. The microphone mean, got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Just hearing the story, dude. The story doesn't mean to end there though. That's that's not even, that's not even the bad part. So like I think I might have been like maybe three or four shots in, and then like at, at that point, like I was at like at the point of no return. So like, next thing I know, like uh, n- next thing I know, like uh, like everything was just kind of like a blur. But like, I'm I'm like by like the exit, and like I have like security like talking to me, and then like security was all like uh, hey like your boy's done like he's got to go. It's like oh like it's his birthday like you know like he's just like this is like his first time like drinking like it's like nah like he's. Like look at him right now. Like he he's got to go. He's got to go. I I think actually now that I remember, I think what it was was that like I was on a dance floor, and then like I I I, 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 I stumbled. Like I didn't even feel like I kind of stumbled, and like they like they, I think they did something like the whole entire night. So they're like you know like we we got we got to get him. We got to go. Like um so like uh they kick us out. They kick us out of the of like the bar, and like we we're, were just like sitting like in like the uh or like we we're just like standing like in like the like the parking lot just trying to figure out like what we're gonna go to go to next and i literally turned to like one of my family members i'm like yo make sure i don't do anything stupid he's like i got you he literally turns around two seconds later this bam face force like i fall face first like into the concrete like, under the oh, wheel of a car damn like and like they they uh they picked me up they lift me up and like as soon as they lift me up and they see my face everyone was like Oh shoot! But like the whole entire time, I was like, "Yo, I want to go party. Let's go party. Let's oh, go party. I remember this story. Let's go party. Like I, I want to go party." They're like, "No, we gotta get you home." I'm like, "No, no, no, no. I don't want to go home. I want to go party." It's like, "Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go take it to the next party." You were bleeding, right? So that's what I was yeah, about to get okay. to. Yeah. So yeah. so uh, uh, they ended up taking me back home. Uh, like I, I knock out, I knock out on the on the couch, and the next morning I, I wake up. And like I'm just like, dang, like, what the heck is going on with my face right now? Like I'm in so much pain. So, like I go to the bathroom, and then like I, I look at myself, and like I have like a, it's like a big old gash that's like right across my face from like when I fell, and like it wasn't even like it wasn't even like the fact that I had that gash. It was the fact that I I told my mom like, yo, I know it's my 21st birthday, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go hard. 
and I got a big old gash on my face, and I gotta explain to her. So literally, like we were just like sitting like the whole entire day trying to figure out how we go explain this to my mom. You should have told her you were going for that Nelly look, and you needed a band aid right <laughs> here and a reason to put the band aid on. Exactly. You you try to turn that to an Nigerian pyramid and see how that works out. <laughs> She'll give you a band aid on the other one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like this, like the whole entire day, like um, it was like literally just us sitting on the couch trying to figure out like what we're gonna tell her like it wasn't even until like i got back home like i was like literally like like at the front of my door like at like literally at the front door i was like you know what we'll just say like we we're playing basketball Ma, i hope you're not listening to this podcast i, I apologize <laughs> if you are but we were just playing basketball and like it just got intense but yeah that was uh now the real question is did she believe it though yeah she did Oh, okay. At least you got away with it. Once again, my mind, I do apologize. <laughs> Till she finds out, someone's going to be like, like, so this this is podcast I've been listening to, Koye, that you're a part of, and I heard this interesting story. You want to you wanna ex- explain it to me? And you know who's going to tell your mom? All of the us. The lady that gave you the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Have all four of us been drunk together? Absolutely. I don't think so. No, because I know Either when I when I see us? other people start getting drunk, I stop drinking on purpose. Well, like even okay, when we went fair. to San Diego for your birthday, us three we were drunk. Like, but when we went to like, I wasn't drunk. I was, <laughs> I, I was, I was okay. <laughs> I, I was okay. I, you guys were drunk. I'm not drunk. The, Vegas. The beer festival thing was pretty funny. Though. Oh no, yeah, we were all fucked up at the beer festival. Vegas. No, I wasn't. Oh no, yeah, I got trashed on the first night on Friday. Yeah, you're right. Vegas. Yeah. We were the well, night no, you before were, you were supposed shit. to perform. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't drink at all uh, during Vegas. Oh yeah, during oh that time yeah, he, he was he absent. In, uh, well, and now absent. we pulled, we pulled him into drinking beer every Wednesday now. Yeah, the... sipping beer. It's... True, it's sipping okay. beer. Um, so we talked about medicine and we talked about beer. We're about forty six minutes and Koi is having mic trouble. So do you guys think we should start a uh, wrapping up, closing it up? I think so. Okay, That's cool with me. So with that, Koi, you want to you want to start taking us out since. You having mic trouble over there? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. We at the midnight hour. <laughs> this is your boy. Ah, day underscore. Oh shoot, my bad. <laughs> 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 I got, I got too excited. Got I got excited too excited. Underscore. Ah, day Koye underscore Oladipo. And Justin. Oh, and I am Justin Potts. Justin Potts. With three S's. You added another S. You're like Pepper Potts. Pepper Potts. People always think my last name either has two T's or an S at the end. Because all the cool people either have two T's or an S, bro. God, no one spells it P-O-T. I I don't know. But anyways, you can find me at Justin Pot with three S's. What up, y'all? It's your boy, Kev. Find me at Kevin. Kevin underscore a (laughs) basco. <laughs> yeah, she has sex on the stairs. Caught a stab child. <laughs> yeah, <Blue Lobby. laughs> My name is Alex. You can find me at L3X with three underscores at the end of it. And thank you for listening for episode five. Bye. I hope you liked our drunk stories and our stuff about vomiting, diarrhea, indigestion, Pepto Bismol. Hey, Pepto Bismol. And you've been listening to Bottles. Bottles. Up. And we'll see you next week, guys. <laughs>